and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some tortured kindred to start our meme tier Monday stream today. We're going to have four uh, fun donation decks from viewers. These are all viewer submitted deck ideas. Uh, we're going to start with kindred and undying and gluttony and um, tortured prodigy. That's going to be our um, deck that we're kind of building around today for this first meme tier deck. Uh, no no uh, videos from yesterday, though. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube, sorry about that. Just needed to take a day off. You know, just uh, working lots and lots of days in a row. Just kind of needed a day of rest. So did that. Feeling feeling good at recharge today. And this one should be pretty fun. So we're going to be trying to have our um, Gluttony the Undying Away into Ancient Crocolith. That really good combo. Sometimes we'll get the sand spinner, but still, even when we get the sand spinner, it's still you know spending three spell mana for a five three. Not bad. You know we would prefer the the crocolith, but um, you know sand spinner is okay anyway. But sand spinner is just going to be an important card to have for the vulnerable, and that's really what we have this Sharima for. We have some vulnerable, so we're going to be because we want vulnerable with the undying, right? Because we want the undying to be able to continually crash into our opponent's um, units and use the undying as like a removal spell um let's see so we also have like unraveled earth this costs three spell mana as well so both gluttony and unraveled earth are three spell mana um and then same with uh don't we have black spear yeah there's black spear um same with like black spear so those are all like three spell mana so like if we refill our spell mana with tortured prodigy we can play any of those but then we can also play cards like stalking shadows and glimpse beyond so we have a good amount of like spells that we can uh play kind of for free whenever we refill our spell mana with the prodigy so that's pretty cool so anyway let's get to it let's see how it does we're just gonna be playing games in normal as y'all know on meme tier day we still play our five games but we just played in normal if we go four and oh with the deck then we'll take it over to ranked for the fifth game. All right, so we're playing against Lee Sin and Zoe. Um, we're definitely keeping a Kindred. It's just whether we keep the second Kindred or not. And I guess not. So we'll... The reason to keep the second Kindred is the... Is the... Uh, the Kindred's champion spell is still pretty useful here. Like, if they... If they... Uh, you know, like load up a Lee Sin and attack with a Lee Sin that they just loaded up. Um, you know, like if they put like the the give it plus one plus two and overwhelm card on it, all that kind of stuff, and Dragon's Rage, we can Kindred kill it. It gets revived, but it, it goes away and all that stuff goes away. And this deck is from this deck is from Nashor. Nashor is the one that, that created this deck. Oh hey, what's that? So I'd like to crumble and but like you know Zoe's still just like a, a one mana unit. Okay, so I still have deny mana. If I don't crumble, we can maybe keep enough yeah, we can keep like spell mana so that we can play Kindred, play Glimpse Beyond next turn. And then mark something. Let's just do that. Because obviously I'm playing Kindred next turn. Really we want like vulnerable stuff right here, right? Like you said like Crocolith would be really nice here. Honestly, the, the our other four drop, the Sand Spinner, would have been would be like really what we would have wanted right here. Cause they can't they can't stop the sand spinner from getting something vulnerable. That's really what we would want. All right, they're only at one. No deny, no um, Bastion available right now. 
So we're taking down that Lee Sin while we can. Huh. Alright, they did not want to spend the two mana on the super cool star chart. I'm fine with that. Yep, and they couldn't nopify our five mana spell. So they can nopify this, but. I hope that's Equinox, and then they Equinox my Undying, and then we sacrifice it. Okay, nope. Doesn't look like that's the case. Still casting this. Yes, I could have I could have played Curse Keeper last turn and still had the mana for Glimpse, but I'd rather just save the spell mana like this Curse because I, I want to be sacrificing the Undying anyway, not Curse Keeper, and so this Curse Keeper would just take up room. That I don't need it to take up. All right, well we'll see if they have da Bastion or Deny. I really hope not. We need more removal spells. If this gets countered, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh wait, they only have two mana left. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> it won't get countered. Seven seven? Nah, the five three. Oh, this game is not over. No, this game is not over at all. Lee Sin, Lee Sin can just combo kill us at any point. I feel like they're gonna like if I do this, like they play they they play two spells. This isn't great having this mentor of the stones die and then getting all these spells though for the Lee Sin. This forces them to play two spells right now and so that they won't have like but they'll still have all the shards. So like if I pull Lee Sin, they just don't have to play any spells. Like they don't have to like use the spells in their hand. By doing that, they have to use the spells in their hand. I know they kill my kindred, but I'm much more worried about me dying than kindred dying. Like these gems. Mentor of the Stones is pretty awesome. If they have an Overwhelm card, we lose. Alright, no Overwhelm. 
Haven't lost yet. Alright, so this Crocolis Ephemeral, it does it did kill two things, it's going to die, that will level up Callista, and then it will be a dead 7-7, seven, seven. so my Callista will be able to attack and put in another Crocolith. So all of these things are going to be attacking, and be pretty beefy. We're gonna have you know four four powers our smallest thing. I'm too airborne. Thanks, trust me, dude. There we go. All right, gotta win. One to know. Timo Ezreal. Timo Ezreal. It's like all the new champs are like the ones that I have leveled up. Um, this game looks pretty good. We can gluttony away Curse Keeper to put the Undying into play. They are prepared for anything. Which is a lot of things. Hmm. Do I play the Sand Soldier on turn one? Or play the Doomkeeper and just waste the Sand Soldier? Yeah. I guess so. I think it's like, if they play Ballistic... Like, if I go Curse Keeper turn two, they go Ballistic Bot. Then I really just wasted this Doomkeeper. Yay. All right, we didn't waste the Doomkeeper. Wouldn't be surprised if they kill Cluster right here. Alright, we got leveled up, Callista. This is going to be a difficult combination to stop, though. It's going to be even more difficult to stop. Not bad, not bad draw. Prodigy's 4-4. Four, four. Yuck, double peddler. I don't think this one's going to be a win. Because it's, it's pretty difficult to play my Glimpse Beyond, Stalking Shadows, these kind of cards with all these puff caps, but... So I think this should fizzle their Mystic Shots so they don't get the six puff caps, I think. Yeah, so that's good. But I guess the whole rest of it is not so good.
really do not like crumble. Really do not like crumble. Because obviously crumble just killed like my only blocker and it just kills us. But <laughs> if you ever see me playing crumble in a deck, you know that I did not build the deck. <laughs> that's that's one of my least favorite cards. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I mean I kinda need a curse keeper glimpse beyond kill one of these, but then we kinda die. Yeah, I can't. I, we just can't draw two. With all these puck caps. Alright, good hand opponent. GG's. That's a tough one. Our, our deck's definitely built on drawing a lot of cards. Or, you know, like we had a, at least we had a lot of card draw. Okay. Let's play some Azir. Let's see how we do. Not bad. This kind of matchup is going to be fast and furious, and so we may not have the time to glimpse beyond. <laughs> Something that I find hilarious is the people who play this deck said that Elise is too slow, <laughs> but then also put Ancient Preparations in the deck. It's like playing a two mana card that attacks for three across two bodies, one of them having an evasive thing with the fearsome. That's too slow, but playing a card where you have to wait two turns until you, then you just get a vanilla 2-2 two, two, two turns later. Like like a vanilla 2-2 two, two attacks for a whole lot two turns after your card. That's not too slow. <laughs> That's funny. What do I think about Spirit Journey in this deck? I like it. Um, <clears throat> we had it for like Kindred's Champion spell, and it looked pretty good. I I don't think that I wouldn't play it normally though. Shadow House has such great removal. Black Spear is incredible. Uh, Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale also incredible. And then you have Vengeance. Like all four of those cards are awesome. I I would recommend all of those cards over. Like over Crumble, for example. All those cards are great. Alright, so taking a decent amount. But we will be able to Ancient Crocolith next turn. What's better, Crumble or Spirit's Journey? I would prefer Spirit's Journey. I, I, I've just... Maybe there's, maybe I'm different from other people, but I've never had a good crumble experience. I've never, I mean, I guess, check that. Game one, we actually did. We got to crumble, we got to sacrifice in a dying and kill a Lee Sin. So actually game one, we actually, we did. Never mind. I can't say that anymore. We did have a good crumble experience in game one. But usually like I try to crumble something, they like mystic shot the thing that I'm, I'm trying to sacrifice or... And so it doesn't work, or it's slow speed and my opponent's open attacking, and I'm looking at my slow speed crumble, and I can't do anything about their open attack. Those have been my usual experiences with crumble. This ancient crocolith is looking good, though. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we can only play one card this turn. We can play any any one of our cards, but we can only play one card. Like even a gluttony, we can only play one. I think that's going to be my card. I don't love just playing like a Kindred to block. Ruinous Path's really good, though. That's a card that people don't play enough of. This is an ephemeral Blighted Caretaker, as you can tell. That means they have another Blighted Caretaker in their hand, and so surviving an additional Blighted Caretaker attack is going to be really tough. So surviving this game, not going to be easy. It does feel like we should have we should have some more life gain in here. Right? Doesn't it kind of feel like that? 
So maybe some, you know, like maybe this deck needs like some Grass the Undying, Withering Whale kind of cards. With us not being able to do do blocking too well. I don't know why they didn't attack with my Undying. I guess I should have attacked with the Undying also. That's my bad. Gnosis is sweet. Maybe we should have more Gnosis, less less Callista. And they had three of those things. We knew they had another one, but another one after that. I again can only play one card. I'm not going to survive going to two. I probably won't survive going to three either. Humble yourself. Enough. So by, do by doing this, it levels up the Kindred. If I Vengeance the Azir, we take, we take one less damage and we go to three instead of going to two. But our kindred dies. This. So, doing that, you know, being at three is a safer way to stay alive. This is a better way to win the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like our, our deck needs Nexus healing or like Overwhelm or something. This is kind of the problem of just playing like Undying and Crocolith, honestly. Like that, that's the problem with this combination is that they just don't, they can't kill the opponent fast enough before you die, right? Like we don't have, yes, yeah, so like we need we need to be able to play longer games with this kind of stuff. Like we, with the Undying, you want to play a really long game. Yorishin. Our deck's not perfect, and that's okay. You know, like, we are a... Uh, this is a meme tier deck for a reason. Playing in normal on Mondays doesn't mean you play against, you know, bad decks or anything. Like, look at these decks that we're playing. We're playing against, you know, Zoe Leeson, Fiorishin, that Azir... Burn is one of the most popular decks. The Emperor commands. The land you still play against the very top of the metagame in normal. Stay back. All right, looks like we're passing turn. How oh, this says, you know, kill two allies, that does not count the things from the Roiling Sands. Those do not count. We swim within the flows of magic. I'm not exactly sure when the next patch update is. Vengeance. 
illusions to rest. What form will the waters take? <sighs> So yeah, I want, <clears throat> I want to trade my two on for the one two. Darn, I was hoping they were going to play something else here and give my sand spinner a better attack in at this Fiora. So yeah, they get to use like a repost. Which is the best possible card. Not the worst trade, though. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> this is again just, you know, a problem with playing Crumble because I, I need to sacrifice these things for Crocolith. Crumble is just like this slow card that, you know, can't kill anything on an open attack. At all three sharp sites. It's not good. Really need to get rid of this caretaker. I was really worried about my life total with this caretaker. I sense an imbalance. Yeah. And then that's just game. Because that's ten. <laughs> Grumble, you're way too slow. All right, all three sharp sides. GG's Five. of with me being at ten. All right, Braum Vladimir. I think we need to. Uh, hmm. So our deck's st stuck. I think a weakness with our deck is that we're just stuck in the middle. We either need to be much more aggressive with the Undying so we can pressure our opponent's life total and kill them before they can kill us. Win a race. Which we just, we don't have the ability to do with all the defensive things that we have. We need to be able to do that or we need better defensive tools to stay alive because as we know the Undying doesn't block, Curse Keeper doesn't block, that kind of stuff doesn't block. We need to be... We need to be able to do one thing or another. And we're, we're just stuck in the middle right now. We don't have good enough defensive tools. And we aren't aggressive enough. Never 
Ember Maiden. Basically, with Frel Yord, I don't want to, like, really attack in and, and then, you know, like, this attack against, against even just, like, a troll chant, right? Like, that, that can really mess us up. Yeah. Fervor is good. That's a good card. But Freljord has a lot of other kind of protection spells like Troll Chant. They could have had. Let me show you what I can do. We probably get the Undying, but it is possible we get the T1. Uh, the two ones, Blighted Caretaker, of course. No, we're not risking Kindred dying. So if I go Kidra Prodigy, Glimpse Beyond, we add three more mana back. Or I just go Sand Spinner. Alright, I want to see what they do. Before I play the Sand Spinner. That's a great draw. Black Spear. All right, so that's going to be my vengeance target. Observe the price of ambition. All right, so enough mana for both vengeance and black spear. I clicked the wrong one. I meant to click the Scar Mother. <laughs> I honestly did mean to click the Scar Mother. Uh, at least we have this 9 9 Kindred. The Vladimir would have done 2 damage to my Nexus. Is that lethal? That is lethal. Killing, uh, if we would have killed the Scar Mother, I, we don't survive that anyway, I don't think. Okay, so you know, like this, this deck was trying to go with the Torture Prodigy thing, but I think it kind of has to, we have to kind of pick a lane of going either aggressive or, or more defensive than what, what we are. Um, Kindred's really, really strong, though, and I think that there's a lot of good stuff with Kindred, but I think that this kind of deck needs to be able to play... Like, I love the card draw with, with Kindred. Like, Glimpse Beyond like Glimpse Beyond is amazing with Kindred. Um, but I think this deck really needs more more Withering Whales and Grass the Undyings. Um, those kind of cards are more ways to heal the Nexus. But I think you can probably play the Undying with Kindred also. Um, but I, I wouldn't really play myself. I wouldn't really recommend gluttony, but yeah, I think, I think that's probably where you'd have to go is just play a lot more of like the control cards and then more card draw, whereas like spirit leech, right? Like, so you want like spirit leech and control cards. You probably don't actually need the undying, but you can, you can have like all these little cheap things to kill, but that's all right. That's all right. Um, so it's tough. It's, 
because we we are like a slow like we're a slow control deck, but we just don't have we don't have the nexus healing or the tools to stay alive for a long period of time, and that's what we need. Of course, I, w I have been super impressed by the box whenever we have played that recently. That's been a card that I haven't always loved, but been super impressed with. Uh, but I really like Sand Spinner. Sand Spinner was pretty awesome. That's all right. It's it's meme tier day. We're not gonna we're not gonna have all the wins and, and you know it's not all about wins and losses for today. It's about learning, and I think that's what we're kind of learning is that for Kindra decks, need to be able to play a long game and even even like Undying Glut Gluttony, right? Like so, like let's say you want to play Undying Gluttony. Even this kind of stuff, Undying is is really slow at killing the opponent, right? It doesn't have Overwhelm. Um, it can't block, and so like as far as racing goes, your opponent's going to outrace you. If you if your plan is undying, your opponent's going to be faster than you. That's just that's just a fact. That's just how it is. And so we need to say, and like even if you, we have like gluttony into the crocolith, they just throw you know a warden's prey slows down a, a crocolith for two turns or an undying, right? Like, um, so I think you you do have to be able to have real good defensive tools to go along with the undying as well. And yeah, so if we want to go Undying Vulnerable, if that's, yeah, if we want to build around Undying Vulnerable, I think at that point we have to be much more aggressive, right? Because in order in order for Undying Vulnerable to be really valuable, you need to be like attacking a whole bunch. You need to be really aggressive. So in that case, uh, we probably want to drop, like we may honestly want to drop Kindred, but, but really what we need, we need more, like with that kind of deck, we need more Caretakers. And honestly, just in general, we probably just need more Caretakers. But I think you need more like, um aggressive tools attacking we need more one, you know a lot more one drops curse keepers great more caretakers that kind of stuff and that kind of deck you definitely do not want gluttony gluttony is going to be pretty slow you know you want you want like an aggressive undying deck at that point but yeah i think i think it, with that kind of deck we would need more one drops and caretakers if we if you want to focus on vulnerable with the undying some that deck we would want atrocities for sure like probably ledros atrocity for your top end so different ways we can go. We we're kind of in the middle. Then we kind of need to go more like kindred control with like undying value or um, aggro undying with like atrocities and then some ledros at the top end as well. Kind of go one of those two ways. All right. But that's that's good to learn. Right. Like that's that's what it's all about. It's all about learning. Kind of that's what we kind of saw is that we need, you know, need to um, kind of slant our deck one way or the other. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Tortured Kindred, and I'll see you for the next video.